All right. You guys, hey, what's up? This is Talking with Burritos, the podcast that's about movies and other things, media entertainment. I am Jerry J.J. Wayne Graham. And I'm Christopher the Rupal. And in this episode, we asked the question, does Jason Voorhees clean his blade? So it's Friday the 13th and Chris, like just geniusly, He's like, well, okay, no, it wasn't genius. That other was, idea was genius. It was more genius. like me being like bitchy and being like, <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> I want to talk about Friday the 13th. Like, That's but it was, was. A, it was a good suggestion, yeah. whereas we didn't even think about it. It's like, what are we recording on Friday? What are we recording on Friday the 13th? Huh. It didn't go that <laughs> no, far. No, it didn't go that it far. It went really like, did. wait, isn't this Friday the Friday the 13th? And also a full moon. Oh, yeah, it's so a full moon. double creep. Yeah, it's double creep. Nice. I'm gonna have to go film so I like filming. Full moon is always something at midnight, yeah. you know, because I got this one image. I might I'll post. It. I'll see if I can find it. Whereas it's like through these trees, my next door neighbor's trees. You had this full moon, and then it was kind of cloudy too. So it gave this weird little ominous look to it because you like trying to, you're peering through the branches at this full moon that was slightly covered by some clouds. I don't know. It's something beautiful about it, but it gave like it was very eerie because uh, I was out there trying to lift weights and I'm like, oh, I should try to film something because it was like perfect, like cool. It's like something out of the Wolfman. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that would be dope if I could do like a um a Wolfman parody thing, yeah. transformation, where you like lifting weights and you just turn into like Teen Wolf. <laughs> you know, how he does didn't that. he just turn on the whim? I don't even remember Teen Wolf. Like no, the- he didn't. Um, in the beginning, you know, towards later on, like it was kind of just puberty. Yeah, later on, you know? he started like. Hair would come out of it. He would start like his hair, hands. Would, I like his the hands, way you just did yeah. that. It was like Spider-Man. Like Spider-Man, yeah. But his <laughs> hair, you know, his hands were hairy, so he would like hide them. And then he would like, his teeth would come out. That was the first one. But then the second yeah. one, it was just, he just said, hey, I'm Teen Wolf. And then boom, he was Teen Wolf. And he spent most of the movie as Teen Wolf. And yeah. I'm pretty sure that was just a cop out for the makeup artist. They were like, dude, we don't want to keep applying this stuff to him. So can he just be Teen Wolf like most of the movie? Just all the time. <laughs> all I mean, the come time. Come on, Jason Bateman. You don't mind this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's kind of weird for him, though. Yeah, he's, you know, you know about Jason Bateman and his his phobias, right? Or yeah. did you tell me about? No. Like he's a he's a germaphobe. He's very germaphobic. Really? Yeah, I he's, can see. He's that. He's kind of like um Howie Mandel. Oh yeah, that's why he fist bumps. Yeah, yeah. you know, he doesn't like to shake hands and stuff with people. You he's know, OCD and a germaphobe. Yeah, very OCD. Yeah. He's they they said that um, Bateman is the same way. Really, and uh, so you think like back then, if he was back then during Teen, maybe it was after years. Teen Wolf. That's what caused that. Possible with everyone like their hands on you and stuff, and you probably got sick Silver a few Spoons times. Got him on that, yeah. <clears throat> Michael J. Fox. He was no, in, no he was in was what's Silver. it called? That was Ricky Schroeder. Yeah, I was about to say Michael J. Fox. He was in family all in the ties. family, family ties. Yeah, family all ties. in the family. So. Da, 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 da. And so now we're actually, you know, if you haven't put two and two together, we're gonna be talking about Jason, Jason Voorhees. You know, in the Friday the Thirteenth. Um, I knew a person movie. with the last name Voorhees. Did you? Yeah, it, back in high school. Wasn't like, isn't Lark Voorhees, like she was on Saved by the Bell? Was she? I think, wasn't that her name? I think it was. Like Lark Voorhees, yeah. yeah something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, there, and then, I knew a Lauren Voorhees. She oh, worked really? over at uh, Alcon, actually. Spelt the same way? Yeah, spelt the same way. Nice. Yeah. I wouldn't go over their house. <laughs> I didn't want to. I'm like, no, that's okay. She was tall. Oh, really? She was really tall. Like, your daughter tall. Was she Swedish? Mm, I don't know what she was. German. I don't know. White. Yugoslavia. Very white. Slovenia. Like really white. So she's like Swedish. Like white. Swedish. Probably Swedish. They don't get sun up there. She was Iceland. I don't think so. Icelandic. Oh, that would be very white. That's like pale white. That's <laughs> yeah. like ultra white. That's Bjork white. If you could ever get ultra white. <laughs> That's hidden in the snow white. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, where did she go? <laughs> she, she plays I see well in the snow. <laughs> she just disappeared. <laughs> um. All right, you guys. 
Friday the thirteenth. Okay, so what are we going? How are we going to start this? That's my thing. Then we just go into the movies that we saw. We're going to go into the evolution of the Jason Voorhees. Or start what? off with the simple, you know, the movies we saw. Okay. We, um. So I, I, I watched, you know, you watched it too. You watched one. one. We both started off with one. Yeah. You know, and um, he he has the whole set. So he, uh, Chris was going. Not to even go a real set. The, you know what I got? I got it at Walmart. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. It's like the bundle, the, right? The double feature set. Like, uh, not even set. It's like the double features. Got them for five bucks each. I got it for like 30 bucks. 25. Uh-huh. Yeah, it'd be 25 because it's 10 movies. So that'd be five. So 25 bucks. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's a set. Yeah, yeah, I guess. You get the whole set of, you have all the movies. Yeah, I know. That sounds like a set they, to me. And they all have special features except for the third one. Yeah. So, so okay, we both saw We can at least say we both. Well, okay, we both watched the ones that I, <laughs> that I wanted to watch. <laughs> my favorite ones. I would say, is the, is the first one really your favorite? Would that be the favorite? I because, just, like, Halloween, yeah. the first one is my favorite. It's like, Halloween 1 is really good, but... Halloween 3 is my favorite. Oh, Halloween 3. I love Halloween Damn 3. It, which one is that one? That's the season of The Witch. The one that has nothing to do with uh, Michael Myers. With the Voorhees. <laughs> Vor- okay. I can't remember that one. I know I've seen it, but I can't remember it. Yeah, the one it. that everyone hates because they didn't. They were like, we want Michael Myers Yeah, because back. they went away from the storyline. Yeah. And they actually did something creative. Yeah. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, I'd we have the, the first I'd, one. We have the campers, huh? I'd say the fourth one's actually my favorite for Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th? Oh, yeah. the fourth. The fourth. Oh. I would agree with you because yeah. that's the one I remembered. Mm-hmm. I remember the most. Why? Because Corey, Corey Feldman, Feldman <laughs> went all fucking, fucking Lizzie Borden on his ass. <laughs> he's a fucking little freaky kid. He is a little freaky kid, you know. He's he and he grew up to be a little freakier kid too. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. I, just, I don't know. So we gotta go to the first one. So we go to camp. What's his name? Camp Blood. Oh, Camp Crystal Lake. Lake. Camp Crystal Lake, you know. And if you guys don't know the history of, you know, Friday the 13th, it's okay. We'll go break that down into it. We go, we're go. we going to go into that right now. Here, okay. I'll go into it real quick. The okay, one line that every writer says. All right, there you go. That the one writer says, we were out to make a ripoff of Halloween. Yeah, basically. That's the whole thing. <laughs> so this movie <laughs> has two things that it needs to needs to think. Halloween and Psycho. Halloween and Psycho. Yeah, true. You know, it's like a reverse Psycho yeah. and also the music is extremely inspired by Psycho. Oh, very much so. Oh yeah. You are right. Yeah. Doom 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 Yeah, the very first sting. Uh-huh. It took a little from Jaws as well. I don't remember too much Jaws. I remember the Psycho. Oh, you don't really remember the Jaws? Because I was going to ask you that question. Like, with this score, do you think that which one's better? Because it sounds just like it. <laughs> but they just kind of, you know, changed some reverb and uh, took out maybe a note or something. But yet it does sound a lot like the dun 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 because this sounds like John Williams. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's extremely John Williams. Yeah. So, you know, so we, so basically that's what it is. <laughs> it's reverse. What's it called? It's re- spoiler alert. Yeah. You have after, these, you know, uh, what was it? 30. Yeah. And so it starts years. out with these kids being murdered. You know, these kids are murdered and by this mysterious figure. You don't see the figure. Yeah. Um, and did you notice? But who was killed first was, um, it was the girl, the little, the hitchhiker girl. The hitchhiker was killed first, yep. and then he went and killed the two. She. Uh, uh, no, no, you can't ruin that y- because yeah, right now can. it's supposed to be Voorhees. <laughs> it's, my, it's just supposed to be. It's a no, Voorhees. wait, right now it's just a person. Yeah, it's just it's a, a mysterious. It's just figure. a mysterious. Figure. It's just a musical sting Dude. that's killing people. Well, yeah, because that's the only time music ever played. Whenever somebody was dying, yeah, yes. whenever the killer was around. But for me, which I don't, you think that POV. The the POV shots that they uh that they that they used mm-hmm. that was creepy. Oh yeah, that was and then they overused it creepy. in all the other movies. And they exactly they yeah. did. I was gonna bring it up. They did not carry that over, but it added to the hauntingness of it or the oh, yeah. the, the, the 
the voyeurism of this character and now he's just looking at them and like in the car mm-hmm. when he picks up the, the 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 hiker i mean she's okay this girl she's like fresh off the boat or something she's fresh she's, she's trying to get there you yeah know? she's trying to get to camp she's gonna be the cook there right yeah. at the camp and she's been wanting to work with kids and stuff and she that's you know, what she, she gets tells. A, she gets like halfway there with a trucker yeah you know, what's up with that trucker when he was when he has his eyeball in her? But it, it was that is that POV. Just, I think he was just a friendly yeah. trucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But okay, <laughs> really friendly crazy. trucker. But then when he was he lifting her up into that truck, he he, the butt. boy, he got yeah, he two, got, he got two hands full. I noticed he that. Too. Them, did you I notice that, that too? <laughs> he put both hands on them cheeks and pushed her up. <laughs> yeah, I looked over to Joseph and I'm like, hey, can yeah. we do that later? <laughs> <laughs> he copped him a little feel real quick. Yeah. <laughs> and he said, you know, then he mentioned, like, oh, you so pretty. You know, he did those things, the little creeping things. You you know, it's so right? subtle. Women, I'm telling you. Nowadays, people don't pick up hitchhikers. They don't even pick up women anymore because, you know, you could kill people. You know, uh, we learned from Charlie Theron in that monster movie. Yeah. You know, um, so, you know, it's not a lot of people don't like picking up hitchhikers. But yet, if you get into a truck and some dude, first of all, grab your butt. <laughs> he was like palms he was, he it with both hands. Her up. Yeah, yeah, he palms it with both hands, and then he calls you pretty. Nineteen seventy nine. You that's might want to. Okay. You might want to like say, "Oh, this is my stop right here." Oh, but this is nowhere. Well, this is my stop right now. <laughs> Just get off that damn t- truck. Don't do it. Hey, get off the truck. <laughs> I would get. I would definitely go with him instead of sticking around with Crazy Ralph. Yeah, Crazy Ralph was yeah. kind of creepy too. Crazy Ralph was a fucking creeper. He was a when creeper. he came out of the pantry. Like, what the hell was he doing? And they're like, well, you just hid in the pantry, bro. So let me. Tell what you is your problem? problem? Let me tell you something. There's this. There's this one show called Mister Pickles. Have you heard about this? One? I've heard of Mister. It's about the yes. satanic dog. Yes, yes. On uh, Adult Swim, mm-hmm. and there's a slasher movie parody where they go into the woods and have a camping trip, and there's the Cheese Man, and there's a guy who's literally supposed to be like the Crazy Ralph character. Oh, really? And just like I kept, around. yeah, and Joseph and me were both watching, and I'm just quoting Mr. Pickles, being like, "I have a secret," because <laughs> that's all he would say. That's he's all a he secret. Was. Who, <laughs> Mr. Oh, the the, the, the Mr. character? Pickles. Yeah, yeah, because this dude said he's gonna save you from salvation. You need to get out of here. You're all gonna die. Yeah, um, but he says it in a really creepy way. But um, so you know, these kids are helping out at this camp, this notorious camp. Yeah, they have two you weeks know, to they, set up. Yeah, they, they haven't been able to. Because every time they try to get this camp up and running from that event that happened when the two kids died, because that's what that was in the beginning. Yeah. It was the history thereof uh, when the two campers uh, died. And that was counselors. before two counselors died. Yeah. You know, they're making out and then they see this figure and this figure kills them. And then, boom, credits. You know, it comes to the opening sequence. And then that's when we meet the little loner girl. I mean, the little hitchhiker girl. Yeah. OK. And you're fake fake out of who's the main character yeah pretty much yeah basically yeah that was a fake out was, it was a i thought she was gonna out, yeah. i thought this was gonna was going to be the girl that lives because i haven't seen i don't i'm trying to remember if i've even seen this movie it's been like, a while as i but sat there i'm like lot. have i seen this or did i just watch three and five or five four and five i'm not sure and then ten and, I was about to say, don't. and nine <laughs> i've seen the all ones, of those i remember the one they showed the most on tv for me during my time yeah was number seven. Seven. They did show that a lot. They showed yeah. that one uh-huh. and number six a lot. Those two were yeah. the ones they showed like so much on TV for me. Huh. I'll tell you why. And like I, I'm gonna write a blog to as to why I watched five a lot. Okay, because the first one I we rented and that's the first time I ever saw it. That's the first one. Yeah. I just I think this was the first. I really do. Hmm? Because I've seen all Halloweens and stuff, but I yeah. think I actually saw Halloween in the theater when it was re-released. Really? Nice. Yeah. It's actually a good... You know, I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. Um, one of the best ways to see a movie in mm-hmm. the theater. Okay. And so... We're going okay, we did the score. Because you thought she was going to be the... I was saying that she was the fake out, you know? Yeah, she was the fake out. And, and there are so many red herring characters, too. Yeah. Of who's the yeah. killer. Who's you know, Crazy killer. Ralph. Uh-huh. Camp, the camp counselor leader and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> And then the one dude, what's his name? Not Ralph, uh, Dean, David. That one kid, um, he was playing the guitar in the beginning. The one who shot the arrow or? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. That guy was an ass. Yeah. He was, a, he was an a-hole. I read it. Um, I actually watched the special features and they said, you know, point, point, point your finger at the target and that's where I'll shoot the arrow. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. And, oh. they, and they did it exactly like that. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is creepy Yeah. Special effects, man. Oh, I'll punch him in the face. 
Like, dude, you do that, I'm going to whoop your ass real quick. <laughs> Actually, fuck this, I'm going to whoop my ass right here. But let me get, like, I wouldn't tell you because from that distance, you could still shoot me. What are you talking so about? You're, to, you're in your little red tracksuit right now about to run away. Yeah, I'm about to wait till like, I get right up. <laughs> Not from him. He's a bitch. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> um, so, okay. And so now, uh, you know, once... It just happens in a day, right? Oh, yeah. Mo- a lot of the stuff happens during the yeah. day. It happens, no, it happens, no, 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 like, it happens over the course of days. Like two... Maybe two days two on kill, this one. No, no, it's like... A, it's No, it's one whole day. Is it's, it? It's during the day, then nighttime, and that's when everyone dies. Yeah, the night. okay. Yeah, so dang. So, yeah, it started early. Yeah. So once they, once they got there, that... Like, they were setting up during that time when... Yeah. What's-her-face, the cook was being killed. Yes. And then they yeah, were swimming. Then, yes, and then they were having fun and yeah. swimming. You know, showing titties and stuff, you know? It's like, oh, I'm drowning, but I just really want to kiss. Yeah. And um, then the other guy, it's like... I like the little Kevin Bacon sidearm where he's like the little snarky guy, but yeah. then the little nerdy one or the, 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 or the jokester. Yeah. He wants the girl, but you know he can't get her, and so he's like, "Oh, sad. Woe is me. I'm gonna go inside this cabin. Yeah, I'm gonna go track down somebody in this cabin. I'm gonna see something." It's That's like, the second. Hey, man, right there. you. Hey, are you, you in doing? there? Hey, can I help? I'm you? like, um, hey, 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 hey. 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 Well, fuck that. I didn't see nothing. <laughs> go back, man. Fuck you. Why are you gonna? Why crazy, do cares? white people want to investigate things? Because <laughs> it's in our it's blood Scooby- from, from Scooby Doo. <laughs> this is a great from Scooby Doo. Just to go and let's go uh, find out uh, what is uh, over there. I don't know. I say, I say go the fuck away. If I go, if something happens, exactly. I think I get my intention. My what's it called? My inner intentions like, from my Hispanic side. I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. Um, you go in. <laughs> no, you, you. I was always that cat too. But like, all right. I, was like, I think we came upon this weird house. It was just this, it was this house. Yeah. And it was like one of them ramshackle houses, you know, and we walked by it and you walk by it every day, but you know not to go into it yeah. because it's just creepy. It looks creepy. It's broken down. No one's in there or you hope. And, but yet it's like, it's so tempting for kids, mm-hmm. especially being seven, eight years old. It's so tempting for us to just say, you know what? I want to go into that house. Yeah. And so there was a couple of times where it's like, I'm like, all right. They were like, we're going to go into this house. Like on the way from um, back from school or something on returning home from school. And you know who would be sitting out there? <laughs> you. J dogs. Yep. I'm like, oh yeah. I don't blame you. I'm going to wait over here while you guys go in there. Cause this ain't happening. Cause the next thing you know, Everyone comes running out. And guess who the first one fucking... I was about to say N-word. Running. <laughs> guess who's the first one running? I'm like... I'm like already a mile ahead of these cats. And they're just streaming out of this thing. They probably just scared themselves. But... Yeah, probably. Because whenever we did investigate things... I don't know if you realize that. Like, you basically scare yourself. Because oh, yeah. someone would say... Ah! And you just everyone's just start running. You yeah. don't even know you why you're running. Or something yeah, on purpose, you yeah. Know? And someone just screams or says "ooh," and you just start running. That's just like natural instinct as a kid, just to run and not say, "I'm just gonna pause here and see why you yelled that." So like, excuse me, sir. Or like, excuse me, um, Tommy. Why, why did you scream why, why like did that? You just scream? Why, why did you scream? That's a dick move, man. Oh, okay. Oh, just because you knocked over that little thing or you stepped on that roach or something? Yeah. Oh, we can keep exploring. Nope. It's like, oh, it is like the best thing ever because it's like the best feeling. It's like, you're like, oh man, oh, did you see that? Oh, oh, man. Man. That's we so didn't crazy. see nothing, man. We just went. <laughs> did you see those fuck ghosts? Especially me. I didn't see a damn thing because I was yeah. way over there. Mm-hmm. Like, when you guys went into the house, I was already walking. So <laughs> I was already, I already got like a yard, like a hundred yards distance between me and that house just in case something came out at it. I didn't want to just, you know, just creep up upon me and just like follow me home nah i'm already ghosted i'm just saying so all right so but yet he dies um (laughs) and uh i want to know okay it's didn't it just like didn't you just get the feeling that jason is just a peeping tom a frustrated peeping tom (laughs) because but by the way, they give it with the POV. It's like all about the the, the nastiness with all him. All about the watching. All about the nastiness mm-hmm. and the watches. He's yeah. always where somebody's naked. Yeah, it's true. Like, hey, this his, naked person right there. <laughs> his mm. absent senses are tingling. Yeah, something. It's just like, dude, bro. If you're a little nicer, you make friends. Maybe you get laid. Is no? that no? 
No, because he was like a little weird creature. It'll be like Jason from, or not Jason, but he'll be like that one fat loser kid from the third one. Oh, yeah. I don't Shelly. remember that one. Okay, so <laughs> I want to ask you, okay, so camp movies. Camp okay, movies. well, no, 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 I want to know, oh, let's, let's go back here. I want to ask you on the kill factor in this one. Yeah. Okay, how's the kill factor? How would you rate the kill factor in this movie? Mm, you know what? There's some really awesome death scenes in here you know, Kevin Bacon's arrow through the neck is still Ooh. one of my favorites. <laughs> it's just so gory looking. Yeah, but then yeah. when you get to zoom out and you yeah, see the yeah. big ass body, it's like, oh, that just ruined it right there. <laughs> it should have just stayed in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got the gist or then pull the do it pull away a little bit more yeah. so that you don't see as much. Yeah. But have it at the distance they had it, you really could tell. See the prosthetics. Oh, yeah. You know, it's just like Interesting, like, but yet his face is so lively. I know, right? You it's know? Like his body's so gray it's and so lifeless. Rubbery. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, that's like probably my favorite death in this movie. But every other death is kind of meh. You know, axe through the head. We've seen that. You know, yeah. freaking uh, yeah, we've seen stabbed that. in the gut. Oh no, you know, that's the thing, man. But did he ever wipe his blade off in the third one? Did he wipe his blade off? He did. He did wipe his blade. He wiped his blade. I didn't one. see Dude, in when one you movie said that, that he wiped when you his said blade. That, I like smiled. I'm like, he did wipe the he blade. He did wipe his he blade. He wiped his blade one time. Oh, dude. I and just, the director actually said something about that. That's yeah. why I was smiling. I'm like, yeah. That's Where did he wipe his blade? Like on his, he had his a, jumpsuit? He had like a, what's a good, he had a napkin. He had a napkin. He had like a napkin thing. Was it? Was it? Okay. Like a okay. hanky. So, so tell me. I like you ever say Jason, but the first movie wasn't Jason. No, no. Come on, scream. I know. That's the thing. Right? That's the thing. That Come was on, Drew Barrymore. For a long time, everyone thought that the, the Voorhees mo- Vor- movie, the Voorhees Jason the started 13th. in the first yeah. one. But yet, it was just called Friday the 13th. Yeah. For a long time, I thought it was just Friday the 13th. I thought he was in the first one. Yeah. Hence why I probably didn't see it. Strip Monopoly. Would you play it? Um. Yeah. So I'll tell you guys. With all guys. They were playing like... um. Oh, that would be interesting. Oh, <laughs> I know. Because, oh, well, think about it. The stakes would be very high because you don't want to be the one naked dude yeah. amongst all your friends. <laughs> yeah. So the stakes is high. So it's you like got to like. It's like biscuit, man. So, you don't so want So you like that. basically sweating. Like you sweating buckets like when you, when you roll the dice. Like, yeah. please don't let it be me. <laughs> don't let it be boardwalk. <laughs> Because I got to take it all off of Broadwalk. <laughs> These dudes got a commodity over here. <laughs> you know what I don't get though? Yo. It's like why wouldn't you, wait? Why do you have money then? I guess to buy properties. Then. Yeah. Uh, I guess yeah then to buy the properties. But then you can't b- make more money when you have the clothing. Yeah. To you know what's it called to buy more properties because you only have that first amount of money when you think about it and pass and go. Yeah. When you think about it, and That's get true. a community chest and other stuff like that. Uh huh. So like, it's not a really valid. Maybe game. it's just a product placement then. Probably maybe product I placement. I doubt it's product placement. <laughs> There's nothing better to do out in the woods. I know naked monopoly. Yeah, but my thing is the one chick who's who 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 wanted to play it. Right, yeah. I forgot her name. No, yeah, I forgot her the name. The one with the red bra. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, red bra. She had these eight, but she matched her, she her did. panties. She so did. She big ups to her. She had it matching. So that's always Most, a plus. I, almost all of them. I think they all match in these movies. Do you? Yeah, they, all of them no. they do. And all of them do they? they did. I've seen six. That's not of them real then. I've seen six in the next three books. That's know, not that's real then because I'm, I'm not. <laughs> a no, supernatural killer named Jason isn't very real either. It's more <laughs> real than P. That, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm trying to think about this so I can form my thought. You, you know what? Though? No, but I will but give no, you this. but the, the the fact that they were actually all consistent in wearing matching underwear and panties that's, that is that, unreal. That's so unrealistic. You know, dad damn so well, unrealistic. living with a woman that they do not they, they put don't. stuff together every now and then, and every blue it's moon they'll match them together. Just when they do, buy a nice set, when yeah. it's first bought, and yeah, they buy that's the, the set, only time they ever. That's the only that. time you they ever wear it's it. Only time. Valerie, Sam. <laughs> so, Sam does that too. <laughs> so um let's see. So my thing is, especially with that one young lady with the matching red panties and bra, um, big ups, you know, again, I applaud you. And I'm not being sexist, I'm just saying I appreciate it. Um Good job. The matching of the undergarments. Um but um my thing is she went from playing strip monopoly to going out. She in gets the rain. in a grandma moo moo to go to bed. <laughs> Right? Did you notice that? Yeah. Also, what? I think it was funny that she what's it called? Okay, she goes out in the rain in her underwear in a rain, yeah. but she doesn't put her clothes that are in her hands on. inside the jacket or, in, or on, yeah, yeah. you know, to keep them dry. She just carries them. Yeah. And then you put on a muumu. Also, I noticed a lot in these movies 
everyone walks around barefoot out there. I'm like, fuck that. It's Twigs and shit. Yeah, that is true. No, yeah, you want to be protected in the woods. Yeah. yeah no, Even if it's some chonclas, I don't care. Yeah, because that's going to hurt. They mm-hmm. were barefoot, huh? A lot of people walk barefoot. Naturist, man. Naturist. Yeah. They're used to it. Maybe, maybe they do it for a long time, and so they, their feet are just numb. Maybe it's just a jersey thing. No. Or it's just a jersey. Yeah. If I did. Uh, this one was filmed in Jersey, I know. Was it? Second one was filmed in California. No, the third one was California. Second one was... I want to say New York or New Jersey again. It, I think it was New York. Yeah. Fourth one was Louisiana. That's where it was filmed? Okay. Yeah. That's where camp no, was? No, no, the sixth what? one. The sixth one was in Louisiana. Or fifth. Damn, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> you need to write it down next time. I really should. <laughs> well, you know what? I was actually writing down all the kill counts. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was actually taking it down. Except for the first one, because I wasn't thinking about doing God that with the it. first one. So I don't but know the kill But they killed count. everybody. Everyone but one. So yeah, except for the one. So it was like six, I think. Yeah, six kills altogether. Okay, it was the dude. It was the camper. It, okay, it's the cook. The camp. The cook. Uh, lady. Lame dude. Lame Kevin guy. Bacon. His okay. sex object. Red panty chick. Lame guy. And the camp counselor dude. The lead counselor guy. The guy. The other guy who was playing strip monopoly with them. Yes. And then camp counselor guy. Okay, so it's seven. Seven altogether. But the guy who owns the. Yeah, he was one. He's of them. still alive, right? No, he got killed. He got stabbed. How did he get stabbed? He remember he was he got back into there and he's like, "Hey, what are you doing here?" And like the camera comes in and he's like, <laughs> "No, the one with the afro who's yeah, crushing on the girl in the beginning." About. Didn't the cop give him a ride? Yeah, he gave him a ride and he walked there and then he's in front of the sign and he's like, "You're right. What are you doing?" You're here? right because he was blazing the, the the light in his face. Right. Yeah, I was about to say I I saw that scene again after I think on the second one or the third yeah. one they played that scene again. Oh, did they? Oh, oh they okay. recycle so much in the second oh, and third movies. And the, yeah, I think the fourth one does it. Uh huh. Yeah, I got you there. Yeah. So all of them died. So everyone, seven people. Yeah, kill seven. count. Boom. Yep. Seven people. Seven people. For the first movie. Yep. But you don't remember? Okay, kill count for the second one. Go. I didn't watch the second one. Second one was six and a dog. Oh damn. No, no, it was more than that. I think it was eight and a dog. Okay. And then what's it called? I have one unconfirmed kill in that one. Oh, because Paul, that? I have no clue because he's not in the third one. He doesn't make an appearance or anything, uh-huh. but you don't see him die. And I don't see a body. That's why I call a unconfirmed kill. Oh, OK. Gotcha. So if I don't, that's see in a, the second one. That's in the second one. OK. If I don't see a body or if I don't see them getting killed, it doesn't count. Unconfirmed. Yes. It's unconfirmed. There you go. You know, unidentified. Copy you know, that. Whatever you want to say. So I think it was eight. Yeah, because it was it was eight because the pre no, it was nine because in the third movie they said eight bodies were found or eight people were dead. Yeah. But I was like, no, that's wrong. It's nine. <laughs> oh, so oh you correct. Continuity error. Boom. Yeah. Okay, fourth. Third. You just, I thought you were on the third the no, fourth. I was on the second one. God damn it. I thought you moved on already. No. All right, go ahead. Okay, third, third one. Third one had See, I wish you had names. I want to know the names of these cats. <laughs> I want to say it was ten. I wish I brought my little notebook with oh, me. Oh wow. Kill count. Kill count ten. Oh. It was one more than the previous one, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Kill count 10. Damn. Yep. It was three bikers and five campers and two miscellaneous people. Okay. Yeah. No, fourth. The fourth one was 12. Damn. So he's. He's going up. He's growing. He's going up. Growing, it was you know, increasing his numbers. I think it was 12 because I remember being like, come on, you can't even get to 13. Yeah. You know, Friday the 13th. Oh, that's true, huh? Yeah. Did he ever get to this? Uh, they skipped 13 on the fourth one. Oh, did they? Yeah. So. Or fifth one. Fifth one. Fourth yeah. one. I'm on the fourth one. It was either 11 or 12. I think it was 11. Okay. So now before we go to the fifth one, yeah. which, you know, is my joy. That's what I want to see. But we can talk about which like nine because I've seen nine and ten as well. I don't remember eight, though. Eight was Manhattan. Oh, I remember eight. <laughs> I do remember eight. You know, it took an hour and four minutes for him to get to Manhattan. Yeah, because <laughs> he had to walk there. No, no, slow. he was in the he was in a boat. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm wow, on a boat. I had to see I'm on a boat, mother. I'm on a boat. Don't you ever forget? He's just sitting there listening to Lonely Island, <laughs> rocking his head back and forth. <laughs> He fucked a mermaid, apparently. <laughs> right next to him, somebody's like some dead kid, and he took his iPod. <laughs> um, okay, so when did explain to me okay. how Jason 
I can understand the first one. Boom, we solidified the point that his mom was killing her. Yeah, was it? Wait, let's let's end that. That bitch was crazy. Oh yeah, <laughs> Pamela was like, oh my Mrs. goodness, Voorhees was crazy. I, like, oh, kill her, mommy, kill her, kill her. That that was that creepy. Was so when creepy because they just like. Like they pan in on her teeth. Yeah, kill her mommy. You just had this voice coming up, kill her mommy. And did you like when the the the, the panty girl dies? You know the, oh, yeah, the matching when undergarments when she calling, calling out. out. I was watching. I was help, help. listening in my headphones. Yeah, and it was just like this little like it was just little in fate. one like on yeah. the left side. Help somebody! Help please! I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, damn, that is some good digital. Right, that was good right there, man. <laughs> it was freaking freaky, dude. <laughs> freaky, but uh, it's kind of scared me. I was like, uh, it did my. Dude, I'll tell you this. I was sitting here. It was it was after work because I got home like two something, right? Yeah. I was like, let's say about two o'clock. I was like, I'm, I'm ghost. So I'm watching this movie, right? Mm-hmm. I'm watching the first one. I'm sitting there dun, 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 watching movies. Yeah. I look over. My fucking wife is standing right there holding the phone. So, oh, it's just like a, a pilot called her. So she had to like um, take his call because he had to fix a problem. And she said she freaking start all oh, scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm like sitting here watching Friday the 13th. It's getting good. And I look over and there's this woman, this white woman just standing right there in the doorway. All groggly and sleepy. I'm like, oh. I'm just like, Oh shit! Okay, <laughs> like, why the hell are you up? And then uh, I saw her phone. She's on the phone. She she was like gave me this uh, effort, this um, this expression, like her hands up in the air because she was like upset. Was, like, God damn, three <laughs> freaking in the morning, somebody calls me, and so I'm like, I saw. Oh no! Oh shit! Oh shit! You need a paper towel? Oh, you, is it all on the? Oh. <laughs> Jerry had an accident on the cables. <laughs> What was it going away? Okay, Pamela. <laughs> Pamela's fucking freaky. Yeah, she was freaky, dude. <laughs> what did I have that shit over? Like, what? Did I do this or something? Like, yeah, did I do it? Bam. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, I was talking about water. my Because I was talking about my wife and how she freaked me out. And this white yeah. woman was standing there and that boom. And I knocked that over. And now we're here. So my thing is, okay, I want to. Mommy got beheaded by a bimbo. Wow. Sorry, Jason's. I was singing that throughout. Keep going, man. That's something. I don't know awesome. anything past that. God damn it, man. Just go out and buy the Jason's album. Oh, wait. Or you can borrow it from I me. have it. Yeah. I'd let from you borrow you. it. From you. I'm going to totally listen to that shit now. <laughs> oh, son. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, maybe I shouldn't admit that, that I still have that shit that he gave to me a long time ago. I know. I know. I was like thinking I'm I like just, I, I just I just I just I just told on myself <laughs> like shit damn it <laughs> damn you Jerry uh, okay so but yeah okay I wanted to ask you because you watched because this is how we're gonna get from one to yeah. five yeah. the one that I saw recently mm-hmm. so the evolution of Jason as a mongol from um a mom who killed yeah people to a little boy who to revenge her de- his her son's death right yeah. Because she blames it on the campers, neg, neg, negligent the counselors. Yeah. Counselors, I'm sorry. And so, how did you get from that to supernatural? Explain to me, sir. All right. So, in the second movie, you have this creepy mongoloid freak who's living in the woods, who's huh? supposed to be Jason, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's all deformed, has hair. But I thought he was dead. Did his mom? So does that He's mean back? So does that he mean his died. mom thought that he was dead? And he I never think died? that's what it was. Like I think that's what it was. They never found a body. I think. Okay. Is what they said. Yeah. And that's why you know that's like oh Jason never actually died. He's just been living in the woods, in a shack that he made on his own. But his mom looks like was there. Hmm. <laughs> But they could have just tied that in, you know that, right? Well, what's it called? Uh, you remember the ending, the first ending? Yeah, the first ending. You know, the, the where he drags her down, drags yeah. the girl down. You know, that's how it was supposed to end, and it was supposed to be him growing up after that, I guess. Okay. I don't know. And he saw his mommy die, and that's why he wants to get revenge on campers and follow on. So he's been alive this entire time. Yes. But and so, so would you say that some of these POV shots weren't exactly all from? The mother's No, they're all the mom. Oh, okay. They're all the mom on that so, one. So little dude's just hanging out there watching his mother kill for him? Yeah. Well, yeah, he does nothing. He doesn't say, hey, mommy, I'm alive. Because he's he's drowned. I don't know. I don't get it, man. He's either drowned. I, I really did. I just wanted to ask. I always was I got no clue. fascinated by the through the from the um from how did he come become like this? Maybe he thing, hit her. Maybe they hit out real the thing to and she supernatural. Just didn't want to accept that he was really alive because he's uh-huh. like, I don't know. A freaking hillbilly creature thing now. Hmm. But uh, I read it actually. I I found a theory saying okay. that they're copycat killers. 
they're all you know because well, yeah, relating because, to five. Okay, there know? we go. Because they're segue. comic killers. There's no one's no one of these people is actually Jason. True. Okay. They're just people who happen to be there. So the first the second part two is just this random hillbilly that happens to be deformed who finds the head and the sweater of uh Mrs. Voorhees wow, and pretends it's that. his mom, you know? Oh. Pretends it is his mom? Yeah. Oh, so he's just a hobo. He's just a homeless dude. He's just a crazy hillbilly. Okay. And Describe then grab this hillbilly for me. He's got a deformed head uh-huh. with hair and a beard. Kind of looks like me okay. right now. <laughs> so, okay, I got that. So how did he take that persona? I mean, when you're alone in the woods for so long, you know? Yeah, later Maybe on, he's... though, because in the later other, some of the later movies, that became well, no, his no, 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 signature, no, no. his deformity. In the, in the, okay, in the second, in the, in the second one here, he quote unquote gets killed. Okay. Okay. So follow me here. In the third one, okay, it's it. either the same guy who didn't actually die. Wait, did he die in the second one? I don't remember. I don't think he died. I think he got like fucked up. He got messed up real bad in the I second one. I think you're right in the second one. He just in the got second messed one, up. He just got messed up. And then in the third one, he comes back and just, you know, he lost his shack. And now he's moved to a barn uh-huh. in the middle of the woods. Yeah, the barn. I remember the barn. And now he's just killing people who go inside his barn and shit. And he's apparently lost all his hair. and it's game, Yeah. <laughs> because that became his look out. now. Yeah. And so tell and then me. he adopted the hockey mask too. Yeah. Oh, he that's the four, right? Third one. Third, third one, one is when that's he gets where he took the, mask. The, uh, the, uh, the hockey and mask. And this is when he officially dies is in the third one also. Oh. It's his official death. Okay. And then in, in the, the fourth one. one, he doesn't die. He comes back to life in the mortuary. So he dies in the third. Yeah. How does he come back to life for the fourth? He just comes back to life and kills the, so, the mortician. So. And the nurse. So there was no like spirit thing or any kind of curse like Chucky. There was no like curse set upon him early on. No. Okay, then but let's no, make then, it up. Then what's it called? With the fourth one, he does technically die. He's literally dead. He's dead. Yes. And then, then the Because when one, Corey Feldman goes all, all Lizzie Borden, him, right? Fucking chops the shit out of him. Yeah. He and Lizzie we see him fucking Borden in it. And but um, my thing is, like, why was he in the barn? Why was Corey Feldman? I can't remember. Uh, Cor- no, he was what's called. He lived out in the woods with his family. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so he kill- Jason and kills his, his family, right? Yeah. Oh, man. I got to go back. No, no, no. no. Jason, they they don't show the death of the mom. That's why it's an unconfirmed death. That's why I think it's like that. Oh. Because I'm like, I don't. I never saw the mom die. I, and I never you. saw the body. Okay. And then his sister lives, but he's attacking the sister and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just so he's just menacing them too. Oh, no, them and the what's it called these he's killing campers, other people. campers. Oh, okay. Who are in another Always camp. campers. Okay. There, it's ah, cabin there in the you woods. go. Filling in the place. Yep. Okay. Uh, cause I just remember him going all Lizzie. I don't remember the other part of it. Yeah. Oh, so okay. that's my problem. Shit. Okay. I'm going to have to go back and look at that. And then in the fifth one, it's a copycat killer who yes. dies. He dies at the end. And then at the beginning of six, Jason gets revived by lightning. Oh, I remember that. How do I remember some of these, but not all of them? I remember that because that I was think ridiculous. The, the thing with the Friday the 13th movies is they're best in just chunks. Yeah. I think they're best put in. They have the some of the best moments, but as okay. an altogether film, yes. they're kind of meh. Meh. You okay. know, but all the, but you know, you can take bits and pieces and be like, wasn't that beginning amazing? And oh, you know, and make and the, the Uber film really good and yeah. stuff like that. Make the Uber Jason film by yeah. just taking clips. Taking the best parts. Taking like the Crispin best parts. Like Crispin Glover dancing. Yeah. Do you remember that part? Where he dances like a fucking freak. Where? And he's like. Mm. Is that third? That's the fourth one. Oh. Uh, I do remember that actually. He dances like a fucking weirdo. It was Crispin Glover. You're right. Yeah, it's Crispin Glover. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of random people in these movies. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I might just borrow that set from you because now I really want to see them all. Well, I only got the six through ten on me right now, but I can bring him on to work on uh, what's called Sunday. Interesting. I got work to do, though. <laughs> I don't want to get him and then not read him. Watch him. I mean, watch him. OK, <laughs> so I'll say so we went to, to Supernatural and so so we don't know when he's just kind of evolved. So, no, into number that. six is when he becomes Supernatural because he gets revived. By OK, the of lightning. by lightning. So you know? boom, and so right after and that, now he's a he's zombie, just unstoppable. Pretty much. He's a zombie, oh, pretty much. and he has boom. even superpowers at that point because he literally punches someone's heart out. Yeah, body. yeah, he's that's a freaking that's strong the first death of the movie. Now. He literally just does that. Kameo, 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 Kameo. <laughs> nah, he can't come yet. Kamehameha. No, that, that's can't in the that. that's in the sixth. That's in the seventh. Movie. Dang it! Oh, okay. No. <laughs> Kamehameha. He grows hair for that. <laughs> <laughs> So he's like basically Franken, big old Frankenstein. He's pretty much Frankenstein around. at this point. Yeah. yeah, he's a Frankenstein monster because hmm. he got brought back to life oh, with lightning. Yeah, 
Okay, so now we we don't think. And then we're he gonna... fought a psychic in the in the in the seventh one. He fought a psychic yes. chick, yeah, and got fucked up. Ooh, he got, oh, he got, oh, he so got fucked deuced, up. Oh, he got messed he up with that one. That was one of my favorites. Yeah, that one. That was really good. She had, went at him like. Oh, she went fucking ooh, ballistic. She at went him. baddie boy. Oh, Technically, I in love the sixth that. one, he was he like was just dormant. Yeah, at the end of that one, because he he was at the bottom of the lake chained up. Yeah, yeah, he's a you know. See, I remember clips of these. Exactly. That's know, yeah. Just, um, so I'm about to, I'm have to sit down and watch him. No one and then else the will watch one, him with me. She but. revives him on accident, and he like breaks out of the chain, and starts killing people. Yeah, yeah. And then she fucks him up and, and oh traps my. him. No, her she dad or whatever him. who died at the lake. Yeah, grabs him yes, and yes, 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 yes. And then for some reason, in the eighth one, he comes back to life and like attacks people on a boat. And then he she, gets destroyed by toxic. Waste. I don't know, people. If you don't, <laughs> if you really want to see like one of these like creep people just. Uh, like these, um, like horrific or horror movie Bubs. personality figures, or personalities, or yeah, or just get just reamed. Just go to seven, right? Or the six, uh, seven, seven. If you want the psychic chick, the right? psychic. Oh my god! Oh my god! Kane Hodder's it is such a great stunt work is amazing in this scene, movie, really. And I really wish I was going to Phoenix Comic Con because he's going there. Oh, is he? And I, I'm like, I don't know if he's getting. Why did you? Why don't you go with Sam? I got. I don't know. I think I have jury duty. Oh, oh yeah, you do. Yeah, because all you have to do is press pass. I just told them once to call. You could have just got a press pass. I know got, it's too late. We got in there for free. I know we should have free. I could talk. To I think Kane like Hunter. next year. I Man, think, well, I wanted him to sign my. I got a what's I bought a what's it called? Um, dude, what's his name is going? Uh, Phil. Yeah, yeah, I know. Phil. Maybe well, maybe a fave. I don't know. I don't know if he's charging for an autograph. I wouldn't want him. I wouldn't. Oh, I don't want to. Yeah, him. Don't bother him for that. Because no one. I mean, not. I mean, that's how a lot of them can be. You know, yeah, like a lot of people I will charge know. for an autograph. I don't think Kane Hodder would. No. I don't know. He's kind of cool. Okay. He's a cool guy. He'd be like, I'm Kane Hodder. I'm really huge. Yeah. All right. So I'd want him to either sign the Friday the Thirteenth video game or the doll nice. I bought. <laughs> Oh, the doll. Because <laughs> I bought a Friday the 13th. Uh, what's it called? The Fra- the Jason doll. F- that was the game. Uh-huh. So he's wearing the purple jumpsuit. Dude, go and on to like the webs and like go just go to like Tucson Comic Con and just like throw out that mansion. Yeah. Like, hey, why don't you try to get this dude here? Get Kane Hodder instead yeah. of uh, it's the year of the Tonk Man. It's year of the Friday the 13th. <laughs> <laughs> that was last year. Because it was three Friday the 13th. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, was, this year was, just two? I think it's just two. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it had February, March, and then November had one. Yeah. Uh, copy that. Okay, so. Hey, we're not going to skip over. We kind of skipped over it, but we're going to go back. We won. Well, I was just right saying, here. No, it all I know, I know. I'm yeah. just going to. I'm just saying that. <laughs> all right, we're going to number five. So, this one. Okay, until he reminded me of the psychic. I guess this movie's actually you know, like this will be my second favorite because yeah. I just liked how old girl took it to him in seven. But this one is my favorite <laughs> just because it's freaking so enjoyable. It really and is. I don't know. One thing that really creeped me out as a kid when I watched this movie, this is one I actually watched that I actually sat through. And I don't mm-hmm. know if, if you listen, you know, I'm not really eh, keen on horror movies and I would like basically shy away from a lot. Most of them. Yeah. But this one I I remember watching. I remember watching a lot of parts. Now let's start off from the beginning. Now let's recreate the beginning scene with the axe. Yeah, I'll with, give you my chocolate bar with the with the chocolate <laughs> bar. <laughs> the scene is so fucking I funny. Totally forgot that scene until I was like, oh shit, he's gonna ask that dude. I remember this. I'm like, because it was so traumatic. I'm, I'm like, it's right there, bro. Just walk away. <laughs> Just walk away, man. Man. He has an axe and he's chopping wood and you're annoying him. (laughs) You're going to die, bro. Just go away, you annoying son of a bitch. If you're not going to, if you're going to be that way, then just be that way. Just be that way. And the dude, he just, you know, he was fine with it. He left it at that. He gave it, he gave that wood one good like strike and he left it in there like embedded. And then he just looked at that fucker. He just snapped. And just kept chopping. (laughs) Oh, Oh, it's so horrible just to think about it. Like this poor little kid. You know what's the sad part? I think uh, this was the beginning of when the MPAA was really hassling oh, really? The movies because there's a lot of cutaways. Yeah. And a lot of debts that. Like, yes, yes, because they cut. Did they ever have a version where they. Well, you saw that um, that axe going to his back? The thing with those. Because are, I the think. The cut scenes don't have sound because, you know, it's. You know, yeah. Back then you just have. You just cut it. 
Yeah. That's it. You know, and they have the scenes just without the sounds. Because huh. I, I thought I had, because somehow I thought I watched a version with him hacking at this dude. Like you saw him hacking at his back. I, like I remember he he did like go a couple swings. Yeah. Huh. So. And then they cut it later maybe. Yeah. Possible. But oh my goodness people. And you feel sorry for the little fat dude because it's like. Because have you ever known someone like that? A little, yeah. There's, uh, there's you, been plenty of them. You know, and you, yeah. you know, you get frustrated as a kid, as especially as children. Especially like I would say, it would have to be from junior high on up. Yeah, that's when it. No, because elementary, yeah, elementary, there was still that one. There kid was too. still that one kid. Yeah, and you wanted so badly to just be tolerant. Yeah, you know, but every once in a while, that little dude. Just go that away. person, it could be a girl or boy, it would just annoy you. And it's like, please just stop right now. I'm going to lay you out. You know, but yeah, you don't want to be that way because everyone else was that way. Yeah. You know, but you don't want to be that way. You don't want to sit there and bully this kid because that's not you. That's not your personality. Yeah. But yet, every now and then, you just want to put your hands around your neck. It's dude's neck. It's like, just, just, you need to stop. Just, 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 just stop. It. Just stop it. Please. Stop. Just, you know, just. I don't want no fucking chocolate bar. Just I don't want the fucking chocolate bar. God damn it, you don't take this fucking chocolate bar, I'm gonna fucking shove it up your ass. Okay? Just walk away right now. Take this Milky Way and just walk <laughs> the fuck away. Cause I don't even like Milky Way, man. I'm a three musketeers, man. You're Same just trying here? to give me the damn Milky Way. I don't like it. I don't like the caramel, the gooey caramel. It, gets it stuck sticks everywhere. to my teeth. It gets everywhere. So if you don't go, I'm gonna fucking chop you up right now. <laughs> so I would wish he would have gave him a fair warning. <laughs> gave him a bunch of opportunity. He gave him a fair warning. Be like, yeah. get lost. And then he left the chocolate bar and then he got fucking, and then he just kept going. You're gonna be that way. Don't tell the girls I got you one too. <laughs> you know, the poor guy. I'm sorry. I'm laughing because the characters in that up. movie are so dumb. Like the goth chick or whatever, the dancing chick. Oh, dude, no, you, you, get, you get like ahead of me, bro. Oh, yeah. You get ahead of oh, me. You got, you she didn't have anything to do with this movie until that no. scene. No, no, wait. Yeah. She she didn't set the table, did she? She did set the did table. Did she set the, table. set the table? You don't set a table for a dead guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't. Yeah, well, you do. You think about it in spirit. If you yeah. still think that that person is with you, exactly. you set a table for him. Put a plate out. Yeah. You know, motherfucker can't eat. And so I wouldn't put any food on it, but I'll set a plate out for him. Mm-hmm. Like, here you go, bro. You know? You're the candy bar. Yeah. You know, sort of like the kid with the imaginary person. Yeah. Uh, what movie was that recently? There was a movie where he had an imaginary friend and Inside they would have out. to. No, but where they had to like set place for him to the beaver. Oh, what's that? A oh, TV show? I can't remember, but whatever. Um, let's go to. Okay, in this movie, we're gonna um <laughs> go in a little bit deep. Tommy from the first move uh, uh, from, from the, the fourth one, the fourth one, the one that went all Lizzie Borden on Jason. <laughs> he's gotten he's gotten a little older. He's kind of like he's six older years now. or something. He's older, but he's a little traumatized. Yeah. So let's just say that much. <laughs> he's very traumatized, and he okay. has all the masks still for some reason. Huh. And he has all those masks still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's he's still a mask guy. You know, he makes masks. He's a masker person. Masquerader. He he's a masquerader. Um, and so he's fresh out of a mental hospital. Yeah. And he's going to. This place to help him, you know. This place that back into is around. That looks like a crystal lake, but it's not. Yeah, no, nah, it's like a it's like a random place out in the woods. It's like know? a ranch. Because there's like no water or anything. I don't there's no any water? water in this movie. I think you're right. There is no water. I didn't there's see no water. There's no lake or anything. Which makes sense for this movie because yeah. there's no... I mean... There's no land. Yeah. There's, it's a copycat killer in this one. Copycat. Yeah, that's true. It's Roy. That's true. So they didn't have, really have to stay consistent with the camp the camp theme. Yeah. The, 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 um, Technically, the third the crystal one didn't lake. have a camp either. They were just camping. And you know what pisses me off? They were just camping the in the vicinity. Back, I was reading the back thing uh-huh. and it said... Uh, those those what's called those camp counselors are at it again. And oh, like, really? That's fucking wrong. Like, no, it's not. That's they try to sell wrong. you. They are camps. They're, they're, they are camp counselors. No, and the third one, they're not. They're, they're just, just camping. Just campers? just camping. Oh, come on, that's a fake. Okay. So, in this movie, we're introduced to Reggie the Reckless. Reggie the Reckless, my favorite character ever in cinema. I'm Wait, telling you, sh- fuck that demon was so cool. The demon? Which yeah, one? The, Which one? his brother. Oh, demon was freaking fresh. So cool. De- demon is um um. You want chimichanga? Dude want from Ch- dude from um Juana man. Pizza? I forgot his name, but is he? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he is. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I was 
like, hey, Juana Man. I wrote that down. He's like, oh, dude. Oh my God. His brother is a dude from Juana Man. <laughs> <laughs> he became a festival yeah, player in an alternate a, timeline. And a, and a, and a, and a tr- well, he took a shit. And a cross dresser. <laughs> yeah. He's like, <laughs> uh, what did I pull away from this one? I don't know. The. What's up with that Randy Quaid lookalike? Right, Ethel's son. I was gonna say that the fucking idiot guy and his mom who's yelling. Yeah, so shit. you know, now we got to go back in history. Like, was he emulating Randy Quaid, oh, or was looks- Randy Quaid emu- emulating him? He was emulating Randy Quaid. Okay, yeah. Vacation was nineteen eighty, wasn't it? Nineteen eighty one. Oh, you're right. Then yeah, and you're this right. one was like eighty five oh, yeah. or something. Straight up, just took that oh, he character. Totally ripped off Randy Quaid. Totally ripped uh, ripped this totally character off, it. man. And see, I'm curious. I gotta know. If it he hurt me, cold. mama. He hurt me. <laughs> you gonna cut him up? Cut him up, mama. Cut him up, mama. <laughs> and he he suffers a horrible death. Oh God! <laughs> he gets his head chopped off. That's right. Because he's riding around crazy on that motorcycle, right? Mm-hmm. On that bike, on that motorbike, and then Jason just sticks out his blade, which will never happen. And he's just like, just kind of, I guess, if that blade was like really ultra sharp, like laser sharp. Um, didn't they do that in the movie? They did. Was it like piano wire? Yeah, or piano wire. Yeah, just like oh, the, yeah. Yeah, it was 1983 for vacation. So, yeah, they most definitely. So, yeah, he was straight up crazy Randy Quaid in oh, this yeah, one. Oh, yeah, he was totally Randy Quaid. He's just from ripping vacation. it off, man. Just ripping it off. Mama was so fucking annoying. Mama was annoying. I was, I, I was happy when she died. I was hoping she died faster. Right? Because... They were just because both, first of all, they were when both she, insufferable characters. Yes, they were not. They were there they for no point to be in the story or anything. No point at all. Nothing. They didn't serve. No, like they didn't go kill somebody or yeah, something like that. They didn't, for they didn't lead us to think that they were going to actually kill somebody and be. Maybe they were just red herrings. Uh, be, uh, maybe, but they didn't even set that up well. Yeah, they didn't because they died. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, because they're in there they're eating stew and then little, they set up. They were there to set up the the wanderer, yeah, the drifter, guy who who came through for nothing yeah, just he so he could be a peeping tom and killed in one other scene. He's just a body. Yeah, he's a body. He's just a body. But let's talk about Ethel's death. Okay, she okay. She's telling this fool on his bike that she's making him stew. Do you really know how long it takes for stew to freaking make fucking forever? It takes forever, and she's just gonna say, "Oh, come in here and eat your stew." She was still she had it always- in the sink. And she was still ripping up vegetables That's and pouring true. water in the damn thing Maybe in the she pot. always is making stew, though. <laughs> maybe because so he eats so much fucking oh, stew. So yeah, he's oh, always eating. So fucking maybe she, stew. she she just had some stew. Yeah, exactly. She had some stew from the previous this stew. Is breakfast stew. That's that she's your breakfast she's stew. preparing. <laughs> yeah. That's what she's doing. Yeah, there you go. Breakfast there you go. stew. Breakfast <laughs> stew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So, <laughs> all right. So, um, let's uh, the uh, the evolution of the kill. Okay, let's talk about kill factor. Okay, all right. I'll say we done the kill count. He has the most kills in this movie, in in the first five. Really? He has 16 kills under his belt. Wow. Yeah. There are 16 deaths there, that he did. In this movie? Yep. In uh, part five. Part five. And that's the top. That's the as, pinnacle. As far as I can pinnacle? remember. As oh. far as I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he killed more in Manhattan. I'm not sure. Did he kill a lot in Manhattan? I can't remember. He killed like a whole boat of people, didn't he, in did Manhattan? He? I don't think so. It's been so long. I don't think he killed those people. I think he was just hiding out because he didn't want to, you know. No, he killed the guitar chick. Oh, okay. That's the only one I remember. Damn. He pro- he might have a higher kill. C- he has a higher kill count probably and goes to help because, you know, he's switching all the bodies. And yeah. Shit. That was silly. That was a silly movie. That was a silly movie. And he didn't have that. I think this might be the highest kill count. Highest kill count per. Until, what's it called? Fr- uh, Freddy versus Jason because he had a really high kill count in that one. Yeah. Did I? Th- oh, no. I watched that one too. I remember. I need that one on DVD. Yeah. I still don't have Did it. Did you like it? I like Freddy vs. Like Jason. Freddy I love Jason? Freddy vs. Yeah. Jason. Oh, really? Yeah, it's got a really good action scene. I scenes. liked it. I didn't say Them I loved fighting it. fighting good. Yeah. It was pretty it was entertaining. Yeah. Let's put it like that. Not like the remake. It's like Spider-Man versus freaking the Hulk or something. Because because <laughs> Freddy just kept talking. Like, shut the hell up, Freddy, and fight. <laughs> but Freddy always has something fucking smart well, to Robert say. Robert England is like in his 60s. Yeah. Kate Hodder's like in his 30s or 40s. <laughs> What do you expect? <laughs> um, okay, let's get a kill factor. So, like, what about the the the, the scenes of death? Like, let's say, uh, oh, since we only watch, you watch up to six. So let's yeah, grade watch up to six. Yeah. Let's, let's I gr- remember seven. grade those. What do you yeah. think? Grade them for me. All right, like up to six or yeah, because 
I well, said, we could I, go I further. I've one. seen the other ones, but I've seen them too. Like the first one, I'd give it a a B minus. You know, they tried. They had some good. They had, ones. you know, think about the time too. You, you know? know, exactly for the time, it's good for what it is. Yeah. Uh, part two, I'd give a solid B plus because they're improving. You know, they yeah. had the, uh, the the belt around. Wait, no, that's the third one that had the belt. <laughs> wait, the belt around the tree. Yeah, belt around the tree and like. No, that's the that's a that's the fifth one. That's the fifth. That's one? That's the dude who bone, that's right. Who that's right. the girl in the yeah. woods. Yep. Yeah. You're right. Crushed his skull. Oh yeah. With and he broke the belt. That was a good addition right there. It did. When he twisted it so much Come that he on. broke the branch. Yeah. It's like oh snap. He broke that dude. Now that two he had that dude's skull had the, in. He killed Crazy Ralph with like chicken wire and choking him. In the second around one? a tree. Yeah. Oh Crazy Ralph died? Crazy Ralph died. Finally. He was like the second or third kill in that That's one. about time. Shit. I was hoping he died in the first one. He was annoying. Yeah I know. He was just peeping at people being like yeah. yeah he got killed because he was like peeping I at people. I think he was just a peeping Tom. Back. I think all those shots from like all the nakedness I think it was just Crazy Ralph. <laughs> just Wandering in places, it wasn't even Jason. Speaking Bordy. of the Mr. Pickles episode, it's just like that. It's just Ralph. It's just, he was just watching people. <laughs> I used to do a Where's Ralph? <laughs> Ralph oh. is in the woods. He's in various places. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number three, I give a solid A. Oh, because the 3D effects really? are amazing. Oh, okay. I thought you didn't like the 3D effects. No, they're goofy okay. and stupid, yeah. but when it gets to the kills, they're good. Oh, okay. He smashes a dude's head and an eyeball pops out. <laughs> that is amazing. He shoots a harpoon and the harpoon <laughs> comes towards you. That is awesome. I love 3's deaths. They're so goofy, but they're so awesome <laughs> for how goofy they are. All right. Uh, fourth one. I'd say B because it's it's falling short. It's yeah. falling short. Maybe a C plus. You know, they're uh-huh. falling you know, it's just simple deaths of like axes and stuff. <laughs> you know, nothing nothing spectacular. I can't name a death from the fourth one that I really, really liked. Except okay. for Corey Feldman killing. <laughs> mm-hmm. like a little maniac. The eaters. maniac, yeah, the maniac kills. That's a frustrated kill. Yeah. <laughs> That's like I'm done. I'm done with all of this. I'm just gonna I'm gonna end you, period. I'm not just gonna end your life. I wanna end you. <laughs> That's how he went out that dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'd say the fifth one has a has an A for for what it is. Because there's a lot of deaths. That's a lot of and good they deaths. Had a lot of good ones. A lot of good ones. Losing right? a head on the motorcycle. Say, losing a head on the motorcycle. Stabbing him through the in the uh porta potty. I like that yeah, one. Yeah, what about the flare? The flare was so <laughs> the flare down your throat. I like that one. <laughs> I, oh God, I had a name for that. I had like certain names. Flare up. Oh, he had a flare up. Yeah, no, flare up. Maybe, maybe. It wasn't that one, but Violet. I like that. I like that one. Violet. Oh, there was one where he stabbed. It was this. Oh, was it the second one or the? It has. It was the second one where he stabbed p- two people in a what's it called? Threw them with a spear. I called that one double penetration. Uh, oh, double pen. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. And what about this in, in the fifth one when he took those shears and he. Plugged him in the old girl's eyes yeah, and then yeah, just basically yeah. snapped it. So see, he cut her from from eye to eye, you yeah. know. So he cuts through the, the 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 nasal cavity and just basically just, just snapped it, just snapped cut it. it, like <laughs> cut her brain up, man. Inside those yeah. ones were good. Uh, six one. No, she was good. I'm trying to remember what like, happened. Why? Why, why do you want to kill like the pretty one? I wasn't like you cool. <laughs> Cause yeah, you looking good. Everyone's right now. equal. I was like you looking good right now, but you just just stay right there. I'm, I'm just I'm gonna just I'm gonna just watch you for a little bit, and then we kill you. You but can't leave any survivors. I'm watching. Oh, that's true. No one left behind. Yeah, that's true. Until you get a tractor and she get was hit cute, by it. Though. <laughs> come on, man. You gotta discriminate. Like, come on. <laughs> like, uh, I'm gonna let the cute one go. <laughs> he doesn't care. Jason yeah. doesn't care. He don't care. He don't care. If you if you breathe, you're dead. I'd say six one has a solid. I'm pretty a sure also. he never saw a fucking black person until the fifth one. No. No. There was a black person in the second one. Oh, was there? <gasps> but he didn't get killed. Oh. Because what's I'm raising my hand, my black fist up, you guys. Just representation of the well, brother who didn't get killed and Jason the too. Second one, big ups. The second one, like half the half the people leave to go get drunk and shit, and yeah. then like the other half stay. Uh huh. And like he kills a guy in a wheelchair with like a fucking knife through his head. And that one sounds about right. And then like the black guy leaves on there, and like a couple of the other. How else characters. would you kill a dude in a wheelchair? Push him down the stairs. That's happened in a movie before. Well, that's technically, it? that's what happened in that one. He cut him, and then he went down. Oh, the, okay. Maybe that's what I remember. Cause I'm like, somebody did that in a movie yeah. where, like, one of those killers did that where there's like, push. <laughs> they should have did it like Mac and Me style. <laughs> push him down a tra- uh, cliff. Oh, okay. <laughs> did you Mac ever see that me. movie? I've seen Mac and Me. It was an E.T. ripoff. 
Yeah, I haven't seen it in a while, but I got it on dude, DVD. Really? It's the best movie ever. You best would. product placement ever. Yeah. You, so much product fucking placement. <laughs> Why they need it? I don't know. To fund the movie. Okay, so all right, and six, I think he has some fantastic ones because he's got this super strength now. So that has to yeah, be that's a, true. Yeah, you know, punching through, the punching getting through the, the head. Heart, yeah, literally twisting someone's head off. Um, freaking what else happened in that one where he did like super strength shit? Oh, he cut three people's heads off in a row with a machete no. in one swing. I remember that one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Where, where they were paintballing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I want to go back and let's rewind a little bit. Right. Uh, I'll put a little sound effect. Okay. Uh, I want to go back to five again. I want to talk about Tommy because Tommy impressed me. Tommy. When he whooped dude's oh, ass. He was, see, that's the thing. He was so I wanted to ask you this. Tommy was a red herring. Yeah. But I want to ask you this. Wouldn't he be the uber Jason? Because he's got skills. <laughs> he does. He somehow has combat see, skills. The thing is. With what him, the hell were they teaching him in his mental hospital? Maybe he had to fight to survive. Something because. He was whooping ass mm-hmm. when he was taking down he fucking, big dude. Yeah, he, was he like, fucking picked him up. He picked him up and then fucking threw him down. Yeah, and then he, he fucking, had skills. He was like da combos to the chest. He's like boom, 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 boom. Yeah, when you beat up the Randy Quaid. Yeah, Randy Quaid. I don't like like it was just setting up. Okay, it was setting it up so you would think that he was Jason because he's that skilled. No, Jason wasn't skilled at shit. <laughs> That's what he's skilled at killing, but he wasn't skilled. He didn't move fast. This dude moved. Well, no, it, it was just showing that he was strong though, because he picked up a dude and fucking tossed him. Yeah, but that was practical pickup. You could, I, you could, you could pick up anybody. Up. My kid could pick you up that way. <laughs> If he did the right thing, using your legs and stuff it's and lift you the, up, it's boom. The, fire, the fireman, uh, yeah, pick up, yeah, yeah, they can lift you up, you know, because it's all about the strength in your legs. Yeah. So the way he took him down, that wasn't impressive that much. <laughs> but I'm thinking, like, okay, then the sixth one is that Tommy? The sixth one isn't Tommy. So what the fuck? Why they? Why because they set it up, son? Okay, why the they set it up? One, and how the hell did he, they? How did they give up? him that mask? I don't know. How did he get it? Did he stupid. just say, oh, I'm going to take on police evidence Yo, and I'm going to, like, you know, put it in my hospital room. You going to stop Tommy? He's going to punch you. Fuck Tommy. <laughs> oh, Tommy was the dude on Rocky. Yeah. I don't know. It just hit me because <laughs> we were talking about that last one. <laughs> Rocky five. I was yeah. listening to it. I was like that dude's name. What was his name? It was Tommy. It's Tommy, Tommy. Tommy something. Tommy, Tommy was so knuckle basher. Tommy was so. Is that it? No, no. That's from the room. Yeah. But what's it called? No, uh, he's in the sixth one and he's, what's it called? He's off to kill Jason. Like he's making sure that the body is there and dead. So the ending had nothing to do. Nothing. It, it was, was another just dream run. It was another fake out dream sequence. Oh, it was it? Yeah. Did they elaborate that in the sixth one? No. Did they? Oh, fuck them. You know the dream sequences that elaborate? Yeah, I know. Yeah, like the last one. The, the kid, first one where like, he pulls the kid in. And the second one. That's key. That that scared the shit out of me when I was a kid, though. When I saw the yeah. little alien being come out that water and grab mongoloid. her. Yeah, it freaked me up. Mm-hmm. It freaked me out, bro. I jumped I when I saw that when I was a kid. Yeah. Now mm-hmm. I'm like always expecting it. I'm like, oh, this is going to happen. Wait for it. Oh, dream sequence. <laughs> Freddy did that a few few times, too. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. And then what's going in the sixth one? He's he wants to make sure the body's dead, and then he stabs it a bunch of times with like a <laughs> a cemetery gate thing. Yeah, and like and that's when the lightning strikes and brings him back to life. And then J- Tommy runs away. and He's trying to stop Jason, and then he drowns Jason there. Oh, okay. And then he survives throughout the movie. Oh, Tommy does. Yeah. When does Tommy die? He doesn't. He doesn't come back. Oh, he doesn't go fast for the seventh yeah. one because it went to my psychological theory. I need to borrow those DVDs because I need to watch that one. Yeah. If there's one I'm going to, I'm going to watch. I might watch the Tommy one, but I might. I'm kind of done with Tommy. I like the Tommy trilogy. Yeah, I like the seventh one though. Yeah. The Tommy trilogy. It's like that psychological. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh shit, she really? is doing just, this. Don't say psychological, it's psychic. Psychic. It's just Sorry. Psychic. <laughs> but she fucked him up. He though. did. That's all I love. He about fucking that. tossed him down the stairs. Yeah, she was fucking <laughs> tagged him with nails, <laughs> threw a pot with a head in it. <laughs> I like that one. She's awesome. It brought down that literal house on him. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my she was regular. She's like she's like my spirit. The director called it Carrie versus the Terminator. Nice. That's what he compared it to. I dig it. Yeah. I dig it. Okay. What's up? So we get kill factor. Did you want to go for for kill factor, or do you oh, not remember the rest of them? I don't remember seven. Yeah, that's what I thought. All. Eight. I remember he punches the dude's head off, and like every yeah, he like bashes a chick with a V guitar. That's all I remember. <laughs> Nine. I don't remember any deaths. Ten. I remember some deaths from ten, where he like freeze dries that chick's head and then smashes it. <laughs> he chops off the android's head when he becomes like super Jason. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when he uh, the what's called the sleeping bag murder. 
which was originally... <laughs> oh, when he saw Slam It, dude, yeah. like, pow. Which one was that one in? That was in 10, <laughs> but it was originally in... Oh, well, I think that was in 7, actually, originally. Oh, I think it's 7, yeah. yeah. But that one was edited, it took though. took him in a, in a, in a in seven, bag and it only took him once. In, in the 7th yeah. one, it was only once, uh-huh. but the unedited version, he's, like, literally slamming the slamming shit out. Him. And, like, there's blood Too coming violent. out, like, the oh, end. It's so cool. Yeah, that is gruesome it's real gruesome that's horrible <laughs> okay um okay we went another rewind <laughs> but 10 was 10 was funny another tangent yeah 10 was stupid but but I yeah like i kind of enjoyed it i like it i was there i'm like all right because the they sleepy got, vaccine just stole the show over me though yeah. that's just so fucking that funny. wasn't jason in space yeah it was it was in a simulator got you there yeah. you go um, I was about to say, it's like the year. Let's go 20, back to um, 40, let me, um, um, let's, go, let's go to Demon real quick. Yeah, remember that Owl House duet, <laughs> <laughs> baby. Uh, oh baby, oh baby. I'm like what the oh, fuck baby. are they singing while he's taking his shit? He's singing Justin Bieber. Uh, oh baby. <laughs> okay, so now whatever. <laughs> um, let's see one more thing. Now why did you stop singing? Here's the money question. Here's the money question. Okay, all right. How do you survive <laughs> against Jason? You had to know this is coming. Yeah, I figured like, it would. Here's, give me your plan. All right. How would you survive Jason? Right. I'm a little fat kid, you know, running, walking around in the woods being like, oh, well, I can't <laughs> wait to find a chipmunk to eat or something because I'm fat. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> I'm not going to survive. I'm the fat kid. <laughs> I'm the comic relief. I ain't fucking surviving this shit. At least you didn't say you, Joey. <laughs> Joey with the axe in the back. <laughs> Joey's a virgin. He survives. What you talking about? I was uh, all right. Me, me versus Jason. Shit. I'm starting to think of one of these secrets. I'm sorry, you're I'm black. You're not surviving this. I'm comic relief. I know. I know. I'm, I'm not, not surviving. surviving so I'm not even. I wouldn't even be little Tommy. Uh, I mean, little Reggie. I wouldn't be Reggie the reckless. Reckless. Just run and scream. Um. Because first of all, Reggie screamed like a bitch before he ran. That's so funny. <laughs> he screamed. It's like, oh, like, damn, that's hot. It was like Pam right grab, grabbed his nuts or something and he was like, ah! See, it works out okay. like a little boy yes. screaming. I am. And why? No, no, no. Picture that. Yeah. Picture that. Reggie screaming like a little bitch. But that's me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> first I already of all, told you. I already pictured that as you. First of all, I'm screaming. <laughs> okay. Let's just picture this. <laughs> I'm gonna go buy a red track suit and yeah, take a picture of me. And I'm Reggie. I'm Reggie growing up facing Jason. I ain't running. And I'm just gonna take my licks. I think I think I'm gonna try to run, but he's gonna catch me real fast yeah. somehow. I'm gonna try to be like creative and do something. I'm probably gonna hurt myself. Well, it's like, oh look, I'm running. <laughs> try to hurdle some shit, and then it's gonna catch my leg and I'm gonna fall. And then I'm just gonna be like, I can't and, get up. Yeah, I can't get I can't up. Get up. And I'm gonna be tugging, tugging at my, but, but tugging at my leg. But my leg is, yeah, but my leg is like stuck on a like a piece of wood. Yeah, that it's like just stuck between like, like the branch and go like, of that cheap ass freaking sweatsuit material, cotton, and it's just like <laughs> and I can't let go. And I'm like, fuck you, cotton, and fruit of a loom, bitches. <laughs> and that's my last thing before he kills me. I was just gonna like fruit of a loom, bitches. <laughs> and, <laughs> And then he like puts his hand through my heart or something. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> no, no. What I was thinking, he would take out your your leg okay. and grab it, and then like he just like flip you. Oh, and be like he ripped you apart. He just ripped me. Oh, he just takes me. Oh, he just takes me apart. Yeah, he ripped your leg off. Oh, like, it, it, like when doing that, he gets enough momentum to rip it off at that point. Oh, and then he just and then I'm just sitting there crying. Yeah, and, and my blood's just spurting out of me, and then he just pow, and I'm like. Pow. Pow. You know, there was, in the third one, he bludgeoned this one black guy, Ali. His name is Ali. And like, he bludgeoned him, and you think he's dead. And I counted it as a real kill. But then he comes back at the end, like, to save the lady and be like, oh! And then, like, he lops off his head and starts fucking killing the shit out of him. Nice. See, that's, like, that's how you do it, funny. son. That's how you do it. You no, play. Jason killed him. Oh, okay. No, Jay, no, oh. Ali didn't fucking survive. He's an asshole. Oh, we'll see. He's a biker. biker oh, asshole. Okay. Who's going to burn the barn? <laughs> He's like, Ali didn't fucking survive. With a name like Ali, you have to survive, but I guess not. No. What would my name be in that movie? <laughs> 
the, do they Jerome? Jerome? Jerome always does. Yeah. Yeah, Jerome, Jerome Johnson. Jerome Johnson. <laughs> there you go. All right. All he right. Died. This is how he and then I don't me. wear any I don't wear any, uh, underwear with my sweats, and so you just see my shit hanging right there, you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like all pressed up against it. So, you know, ladies. Okay, be ten inch Mike. <laughs> Otherwise, look at the bulge, ladies. Yeah. All right, go ahead. All right, I'm in. I'm in the same movie as you. Oh, there we go. I, I find. I find your body. I'm like, whoa! I survived longer than the black guy. Wowzers. Oh, then you just. <laughs> Chris, you walk up. You just eat the chocolate bar. Yeah. It's like, I lasted longer than him. <laughs> Here you go, bud. Found you a chocolate but bar. Then, but then you keep talking to me. Yeah, I just keep talking to you. I'm just talking to you the whole time. Well, you're not really responsive today, Jerry. Man. You don't have to be an asshole. Here, here's some. Here's your uh, three musketeers. I know how much you like them. I'm like, make, my you, my you dead face is like you trying to shove it in my mouth. <laughs> like, you don't want to eat it. It would have to be rude. You have to be rude, Jerry. And then as soon as I walk away, Jason like slams the machete in my head. Yeah. I'm like, you, go. you don't gotta be so rude either. He turn around, it's like <gasps> he goes. <laughs> he goes cannibal. <laughs> cuts the cuts the top of the head off. Uh, oh, nice! There you go. So you just see brain. Yeah. So you still kind of like got a little bit of brain activity. You, you got like the flat, the flat brain. Yeah, like flat top, out. literally. Yeah. <laughs> and so you still kind of active, but not like, really. Dan, dan, the synapses dan, dan. are going, and like then you feel the you yeah, feel the, blood. the blood starts coming down, and then he goes straight down. Yeah. Oh. He's just like, oh no, he's, it's stuck in your head, right? Yeah. So he just takes his fist and just, pow, and just hammers it down. <laughs> Hammers it down. He just goes right there and, and slits you in half. Wait. Okay. You got a flavor text for this week? Yes. Oh, nice. Go ahead. I do not. <laughs> oh, okay. I got one. It was brought to you by um, the mustache man. I'm in this a liar. Movie. I do have a flavor text. Okay, go ahead. Crazy Ralph, shut your mouth. Crazy Ralph, shut your mouth. There you go. Here's Quote mine. the Jasons. Oh, that <laughs> I will listen to and give you a review. Okay, here's my cloudy in the mountains, sunny in the valleys, and snow flurries up your nose. Is that <laughs> that's, that's from the fifth one. <laughs> there right you there, go, yeah. from the fifth one. All right, you guys. Cool. <laughs> I know, right? He was filmed. Before we end, oh, go ahead. I got to give a shout out to the Jasons. Oh, they they are a punk rock band out from New Jersey, I believe, oh. who literally wear Jason masks and shit and perform songs based around, you know, Friday the 13th and shit. And they're really awesome. Uh, they just re- dropped a new album this past month. Really? I literally just bought it yesterday. Nice. I have to wait for it to ship, but you know. How weird is that? Okay. Yeah. And I'll, I'll give a big ups to you and your shirt. Yeah, I'm wearing my Friday the 13th shirt. One of my one of my two. Oh, uh, that's funky fresh, man. Yeah. It's got like half of his mask and then underneath is like a boat in a paddle and you can see um, like, little waves. Yeah. It's kind of like the skull and crossbones. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Pretty fresh, bro. Yes. So you always are, are, are always in the moment like that. Okay. Did you know, though, the Friday 13th game, they have one. It's coming out, but in October. Yeah. October 16th. Yep. looked like it's pretty dope, though. Mm, yeah. It was For that PC, one right? game. They yeah. said that they were... Um, <laughs> They originally had like started a Kickstarter, yeah, for a totally different game, yeah, and then they were shut down, and uh, it wasn't like it was supposed. It was like this: you were a killer, and like one person played the killer, and then the other people played it. Yes, campers. exactly. And then like this, you know, I think it was. I don't know who owns. Oops, sorry, I don't <laughs> know who owns what's it called? Uh, Jason, right now. But I think they talked to them and were like, "Okay, we're gonna help you fund this." But make it a, J- a Friday the Thirteenth game. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Yeah, I'm not a hundred percent. I actually talked with Joseph about this, like a like this this for, uh, Monday or Sunday actually. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, because like we went to McDonald's and I'm like, and he's like, "You excited for that Friday the Thirteenth game?" I'm like, "That's out of fucking left field, Joe." But I yeah, know, yeah, but yeah. So you know, we should play that one. Should I would love to. I would love I'd to like kill to also. you. Well, I'd have to be at my place. With my shitty internet connection. Oh, you would have to. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. We could do it. We could pull it off. We probably could. Yeah. By then, you should have better. Hopefully. I hope. I'm, okay. I'm buying a new modem anyways, because this one's being a piece of shit. Is it old one? No, it's Older? like it was brand new, but it's a piece of shit. Is it from Cox? Yeah, that's why. Exactly. I'm going to return sometimes it to them and be modems. like, stop. Yeah, stop sometimes our, the their, their modems are shit. We, it, to the point where we got to to the to the point where we was like, okay, we just buy our own. Yeah. Just go buy one of those Motorola surfboard, surfboards, surfboard for like, you know, $80, boom, from Best Buy. I think nowadays you can get them 59 Oh, yeah, you can um, get them. They're actually pretty good. You know, this one works well for us. I, yeah. I haven't had 
<laughs> I'm okay with that. Motherfucker, I got Google, bitch. I was about to say. Google's my damn uh, customer What's support. The uh, Motorola has their own fucking tech <laughs> yeah. support. Yeah, and if it, you know anything go wrong within a year, I can just call them. Oh, sucker. Or if I go through Best Buy, I can get it, uh, get a little uh, warranty on it and just add some little geeks over there. So, huh, exactly. Squad up, bitch. All right. <laughs> That's <laughs> talking with burritos. Our Friday the thirteenth episode on Tuesday. <laughs> no, <laughs> I think I might just do that. Yeah, no. just uh, <laughs> the thirteenth, but on Tuesday the sixteenth. Uh, it was. That's not right. Is it seventeenth? Seventeenth, I think. Tuesday the seventeenth. Yeah. I am <laughs> Jerry JJ Wayne Graham, and I'm Christopher. The <laughs> uh, don't <laughs> Jason, no, no, Jason, no. <laughs> I'm just giving you love tops. <laughs> Crazy Ralph, shut, shut your mouth. Kids will never learn and they don't understand Why sex and drugs and alcohol don't always go as planned For all your piss and moaning and prophecies of doom They should have known it all applied to you Hensley! Fuck you! Crazy Ralph, Crazy Ralph, Crazy Ralph, just shut your mouth Crazy Ralph, please shut your mouth Crazy Ralph, Crazy Ralph, Crazy Ralph, just shut your mouth Crazy Ralph, please shut your mouth They were warned, they are doomed And there's nothing you can do They don't care what they say They're gonna go to Crystal Lake Cause kids don't listen these days So there's a trailer for a movie that scared me. Lights out. Yeah. That thing is creepy. That <laughs> shit scared me. And it doesn't help that I'm kind of afraid of the dark, you know? Fuck that trailer. <laughs> Fuck that trailer. That I shit. do not like I had that to trailer. text my brother and be like, dude, you got to check this out. That looks fucking scary. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. that Because uh, someone, was, they were telling me about it. And I don't watch trailers anyway, but I was right there and I looked up. And she was doing the lights off, lights on thing, and yeah. she was At first seeing I was, like, that chuckling about figure, it. and I was like, like, "Okay, I'm done." Yeah, I stopped watching. It. I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna freak myself out." Even before I watched this damn movie. <laughs> At first, I was like, "This is kind of silly," you know. She's just, tick, tick, yeah, tick, tick. it's kind of funny. And then it's like, oh, I'm like oh, right there, it's like, no. boom. <laughs> no, that's gonna be an interesting no. one. I'm willing that's, to. That, that's my birthday movie. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, okay. Well, man. it's between that the Star Trek that. that is what's it called? The Star Trek that's Star Trek is coming out. Yeah, that that when the twenty fourth of what or twenty second of July. Wow. Yeah. Is it? There's like a lot of bad rep going about it, though. I've heard like not so many there's, good things. There's no hype or anything there's either. There's no hype Like or there's anything. no... Ha, have we... I think we did get a trailer. There's that been one trailers. trailer with there's the... There's been trailers. Okay. But like there's but, been no hype. There's been like a lot of like bad like publicity, like back, like this backstage stuff. And they've been refilming stuff apparently. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Do we know? I don't know yet. No one knows. It's just that is. And then my other birthday movie would be Continent, not Continental Drift, um, Collision Course, the <laughs> Ice Age. Oh, okay, the cartoon, yeah, uh, animated I'm, feature. I'm like, no, thank you. I should do well. Ice Ages usually do. They usually um, do well. rather well. And by then, Finding Dory would be within like what is fourth mm, week or so. That'd be its fourth week, but you got Secret Life of Pets like two weeks before. See, oh wow! See, so they're gonna kill us with animated films this season. Yeah, because that's a lot for a summer movie block yeah, like that. Usually, there's like one like three. Th- I mean, good ones. Yeah, you know, there's usually just two. You know, yeah. you've got the one Pixar one or Disney Damn, one. And then you got Kudo. Kudo. I don't think that one's gonna do much. I know. Those I ones hate never people. do that, and I hate I that. I hate everybody. Like, I thought it was that Kubo. movie. Oh yeah, it's Kubo. It Kubo. I don't know why I keep writing <laughs> Kudo. Kudo. I keep writing Kudo kudos, every day. Man. Kudos. Yeah, I keep writing Kudo, <laughs> but it is Kubo. I try to type it in to um, Google search, and yeah. it is like Kudo. I'm like, and then nothing, nothing shows up. I'm like, what the hell? It's like Kudo, 
Kubo and I just did Kudo. I didn't see. I didn't put in the two strings. Yeah, and so it didn't really come up with anything. Yeah, that's why. And so I just had one nice shirt. Just saying that right now. Oh man, I'm gonna get a picture. I renamed this Wayne Manor. I don't know why I did though. <laughs> I did, and my computer says Wayne Manor. Everything because says Wayne because like JJ Wayne. I'm like I'm, I'm going with it. I'm adapting it. I'm adopting it. So you know it's better than like uh, like a year ago when I was changing names like um Every like five I was seconds. a psychopath or something. Yeah. <laughs> like what the hell is wrong with this dude? He has identity problems. If you uh, yeah seriously, 